Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you the um, the Wicked Edge uh, W130, the precision sharpener I just received. This is um, a really high end sharpener, and um, I have to say that I got this for free from Wicked Edge. Um, I'm not getting paid anything, I'm not receiving money for likes or redirects or anything like like that they uh, gave me this to review and uh, they had uh, no strings attached or anything like that the the wicked edge system i have here uh, comes with uh, three sets of uh, stones uh, grid 100 200 400 600 and 800 and a thousand then they um, they also sent me these uh, leather straps and some uh, some compound to uh, or some emulsion to put on the leather straps. Um, these two stones, the one eight hundred and the one thousand, is also um, extra stones for the W one thirty. Normally, it only comes with these stones. Um, standard so uh, I'm gonna try and sharpen a new kitchen knife I am working on uh, that are almost finished and uh, see if I can get a good edge on it so uh, <clears throat> I'm just gonna put down the camera here and then um, I'll get started uh, I haven't done this uh, many times but um, I will give it my best shot. You can adjust the angle on the Wicked Edge um, really precise. Uh, on both sides you can move this and I've decided for a 20 degree angle on the on the kitchening knife, uh, kitchen knife I'm working on. Um, so I'm just gonna Take this small tool uh, that's uh, that are in the base and uh, put it in here to uh, help me guide uh, the knife in place. And then I'm gonna make sure that this is straight. And I'm gonna close up the clamp. The clamp on this uh, one is also um, a special clamp they sent me because I uh, make very um, thick knives. So this is a, a clamp develop, developed for uh, thicker knives to fit into it. But other than that, we have the two guiding rods. And we're just gonna put the stones on them. And uh, then it's all a question about sharpening the blades. Um, I've only had this set for um, a few days. And I have uh, only sharpened like three or four knives, so I still uh, need a lot of practice doing this. Uh, I found out that it's important to uh, get into the recasso here, make sure that that the, the stone is all the way down. Uh, at, at this point, you can see with my finger, um, to make sure that you get all the way down there uh, when you start sharpening. And then uh, make sure you go all the way down the edge. And um, as a TV chef, I have of course uh, made the the start of the sharpening on this plate, so I know that um, this has been sharpened with uh, the the grid 100 so uh, now i'm just gonna turn them around um i'm gonna have to move this camera i have turned the stones around now so i'm gonna grind with the with the orange side now this uh, the red sides were grid 100 now it's grid 200 and again, make sure you grind all the way along the edge and all the way down the weight. And 
don't press or push or anything. Let the, let the stone do the work. I'm not adding any pressure at all. This uh, set, uh, the 130VE, uh, has a cost of uh, $550. Um, the extra stones on the base, uh, I have to, uh, in this set, um, all in all, uh, the value is about uh, $750. Uh, the set is right here, uh, right now, <clears throat> and uh, that is in, in my world, it's quite an investment. And um, as I told you guys, I got this one for free. Uh, I'm not sure I would have bought one myself without trying it because I think it's it's a lot of money. Uh, but then again, um, the this system is it's worth. Uh, that amount of money. Um, it's really sturdy, uh, there's no play or anything, the guide rods are really smooth, uh, the holes in the stones are, as you can hear, it's, it's a perfect match. Um, and it's really really easy to set up. Now I'm gonna switch to a grid 400, that's the yellow side, yellow sides and 600 is the green sides. So uh, of course I'm just gonna do the the yellow side now and do that on my blades. And I'm gonna make sure that all the um, the marks from the previous grid are gone to make sure the edge is nice and shiny. Making sure that I get all the way out to the tip of the knife. And that is it's three at 400, and now I'm gonna turn them around to grid 600. And you can hear uh, on the sound that it, it makes less and less noise when it uh, sharpens the steel. And I have seen uh, YouTube videos with, uh, with guys doing this motion really, really fast. I'm not that fast yet, but I'm pretty sure that uh, I will get there uh, at some point if I keep using this system. I am uh, working on my homepage and trying to uh, review uh, and test as many systems as I can. Uh, I have uh, wrote a lot of uh, manufacturers and uh, a lot of them have actually been uh, really nice. Uh, um, I heard uh, positive back from Lansky and Workshop and Wiber Shop, uh, Wicked Edge. So uh, that's really cool. Uh, I dream about um, testing the KME uh, Sharpener set from Russia. And uh, the Swedish uh, Tomic, but um, yeah, they haven't replied to my uh, to my email, so uh, it's gonna have to be a dream because uh, I do not have any uh, advertising on my uh, homepage, so I am not making any funds on it, and I cannot go out and and buy these systems. It's, it's too expensive. But um, I will do my best to uh, to get my hands on as many different systems as I possibly can. So now I have used the um, grid 600 
and uh, yeah, this is gonna be uh, <laughs> this is gonna be wicked sharp. Yeah, that's a bad joke, I know. Um, so um, I'm gonna use the grid 800 now. really easy to uh, to change the stones and, and very very fast. See where my arm is starting. That grid 800. And again I'm making sure that I go all the way up here. You can hear that sound. Um, this is where the grind begins to make sure that the edge goes all the way down the blade. Yeah, and I really, really hope that I'm not going to cut myself bad on this one day. I'm thinking about uh, getting the shields for this system. Uh, if you slip uh, your fingers on the stones, but I don't uh, slam it into the edge, you can get some plastic shields to uh, yeah, there we go, to mount on the um, mount on the stones because um, this takes time. And it's uh, it's nice to do, and, and you can turn on uh, turn off your thoughts and and stuff. But you you will at some point get callous. So that was grid uh, 800. So I'm gonna change it up to uh, 1000. And now you can hear the sound is again. You can hear the stones are getting finer and finer. And uh, I'm only doing this uh, in an upward motion. And I'm making sure that the stone covers the entire, uh, the entire stone is pressed against the knife. And again, not hard or anything. And um, this system makes it really easy to uh, to get the same amount of strokes on the blades um, to make the grind uh, or the sharpening look the same on, on both sides and uh, that is pretty awesome. I, uh, I always use the, the Lansky system and, and you have to count out like 20 on this side and 20 on that side and then your girlfriend tells you to go uh, do the dishes or something like that. And, you forget your count, so um, this, this makes it easy. But again, you have to be really careful. Uh, really, uh, uh, you have to pay attention and, and don't get callous. So now I've used the the one thousand and uh, the previous one. So now I'm going to use these. Uh, this is leather. And uh, yeah, I've cut one of them already. These are this knife now is is grit thousand. It's 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 sharp. Believe me, uh, this is sharp now. And um, the leather comes in uh, the compound here. It's uh, it's diamond uh, poly diamond emulsion. Um, we got a four thousand grit and we got an eight thousand grit. And uh, I'm gonna start with the four thousand. And I'm just gonna shake it out a little, and then I'm gonna uh, one small um, push on each, and just uh, over the blades, and then I'm gonna start stropping the knife. And you can hear this doesn't make a lot of sound because it's it's really fine. This knife is getting seriously sharp. At least I hope it is. Uh, 
I'm not gonna make a mirror polish. Um, I make knives. I don't make uh, art. Um, this is meant to be uh, used and abused. So I, I'm of course gonna uh, use the straps, but I'm not gonna sit here for an hour to make sure I can read the paper in the in the in the edge. That's not the point. So uh, that's uh, grid 4000, and I'm gonna go up to 8000. And again, just one push on each, spread it out a little with my fingers. The fun part now is uh, trying to cut some paper. I have um, one of those uh, small manuals that came with my uh, watch. It's uh, very, very small and very, very thick. Oh, and uh, the paper in it is extremely thin. So I always use that as a guideline to uh, just to, to cut the paper and see this, this knife sharp now. And uh, I started doing that after I realized that I don't have any hairs left on my left arm. They are all gone after I started making these videos. So, um, done. These have to be uh, cleaned up after use. Um, or at least I clean them up and I use, um, I just use Windex and, uh, and a cloth to clean them up. So, um, read 100, 200, 400, 600, 800 and 1000. And then we went up to the leather and went for 4000 and 8000. I know they make stones in 1200 and 1500 and I am uh, thinking about investing in, in one of those. But um, the knife has been sharpened. Just gonna wipe it down. Then I'm gonna open this up and the clam will let go of my knife. And you can See the edge here, um, it's not that polished, um, if I spent more time it would be better. And here is my, um, I don't want you guys to think that I'm switching knife. This is my manual from my uh, awesome cashew and I'm just gonna see if this is uh, this is a sharp knife now. So, um, there you have it. The Wicked Edge uh, WE130. Uh, I've been using it for like five days. Uh, sharpened three knives on it and it's really easy to use. And the edge is really pretty it's not a mirror edge or anything like that but it's a freakingly sharp edge and um, it's easy to use i do believe that uh, my mom could um, sharpen her knives with this and, and, and that's awesome so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions feel free to ask uh, down in the comment section um, if you press in the lower left corner, ah, that's the right corner of course, you can subscribe to my channel. If you press in the upper left corner, you can see um, how I use the, the Lansky diamond version uh, to sharpen my knives. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Take care guys. Bye.